how useful is a sharp ratio in determining the viability of a strategy? Oh boy. <clears throat> All right. So this is a loaded, loaded question and I hope I'm not going to end up too wordy on this, but it's, uh, it's one of many variables that I would look at when considering the performance of a strategy by itself. It's actually not all that useful. Um, it's actually really easy to manipulate a sharp ratio because it's just an average. It's an average of your, of your gains relative to your risk or losses, the standard deviation of your losses. And it doesn't actually separate them either. So, so basically it's, 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 a, it's essentially a score of your wins against your losses. And it is possible to have really big gains and really, really big losses that still don't get accounted for in that sharp ratio. But any one of those large losses could actually blow out your account depending on your approach. So it's not necessarily one of the best things to look at. Beyond the sharp ratio, I'm actually more interested in the omega ratio, which is a probability weighted distribution of your wins versus your losses or your your gains versus your losses. And I think it does a little bit better of a job statistically at telling you whether or not you've achieved that um, the, the performance metrics that you're looking for. Are my gains typically larger than my losses so that I'm actually maintaining profitability over time? Since the sharp ratio is really just mean variance, it's it's just an average of that history. And we all know how manipulated averages can be, you know, like we know how statistics can lie, if you will. Uh, so by itself, it's an okay metric to use. It's obviously one of the most popular published ratios on any investment uh, publication where you're comparing different types of strategies to each other. And from that perspective, I think it's useful in comparing all of your strategies to each other. If you're if you're kind of measuring multiple approaches to the market and you're curious about which one might have better stability, then maybe using sharp ratio as a as a score or a ranking um, a ranking score is a useful metric. Uh, but I would again implore people to consider the omega ratio because it's just it's a better measure, I think.